Welcome back to Warsaw Fan TV. After last night's defeat away to Scunthorpe, Warsaw have parted company with Matt Taylor. It was no surprise. It was no surprise, really. Um, and Lee Pomlet has told us that Neil MacDonald, the ghost, and Matt Sadler are going to take over team affairs, as I predicted. As I predicted, the ghost appears. It feels so wrong. But um, Matt Taylor brought in as a quality coach, particularly of young players, and he's not developed the young players at all. Um, sticking with 4-2-3-1 when we didn't have the players for that formation was a big mistake. Um in the transfer window, we didn't bring in the players we needed. Um, is that Matt Taylor's fault? He has harped on about being perfectly happy with the squad for the vast majority of the season, um, towing the party line, as it were, and uh, he's a very polite, pleasant guy, but it just wasn't happening for him, and seven games on the bounce, he's going to get you fired, whichever position you're in. <sighs> But it does go deeper, doesn't it? I think Matt Taylor is the full guy in some respects. But he's not painting himself in glory. In his post-match yesterday, he said he had all the attacking options on the pitch, second half. And as he's saying that, Shay Willock is warming down, running behind him. Shay Willock is the only striker that looks like he can put a ball in the net. And... Um, and he didn't get a game. So that was disappointing that Matt Taylor didn't turn to the young guns to try and freshen things up and um, and try and develop players. So that's that's a shame. That's a shame. Uh, Neil McDonald, he's just not supported Matt Taylor at all, I don't think. I think he's given little murmurs to him. But, I mean, he's not really supported him. Um, not enough, in my mind. Um, Jamie Fullerton, as the director of football, he's in charge of the football side of things. He's the guy that's brought the players in that aren't performing. He's not got the strikers in that we need to keep us in the division. So he is largely at fault as well. And now he's the guy that's championed with bringing another manager in when he's failing in his role. So... Warsaw needed to make a change because as it stands, seven on the bounce and the nature of last night's defeat, Warsaw are heading for relegation and uh, it needed some change to sort of try and arrest that fall down the table and um, will Neil McDonald and Matt Sadler be able to do that? That remains to be seen. Um... But there's there's bigger issues, there's bigger issues that need addressing. Um, Warsaw flirted with relegation last season, and this season, as Lee Pomlet says, when we beat Colchester three nil, everything looked rosy, but we've sort of capitulated since then, and um, the change in manager has um, had to happen to try and arrest the slide. So hopefully to give Walsall a bit of a boost. I wouldn't expect a new manager to be in place before next season. But um, we'll have to wait and see. Right then, thanks for watching. The join the pain. Full of pain at the minute. Um, I think the only bright spell was um, the excellent support that the channel has had. Um, sort of 77 joined us on uh, last night's live stream which was really good so uh, we'll be doing another one of them for Swindon I think if you like that thanks for watching cheers